guys, good morning and welcome back to another video. I feel a little weird vlogging because I have not vlogged in maybe three weeks. I haven't picked up the camera at all and there's a reason for that but I'm gonna get into that in a minute. If you're new to my channel, my name is Allie and I'm an Orlando based flight attendant and I vlog about my life as a mom, as a flight attendant. I sprinkle a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of everything so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already been subscribed. So I'm getting ready for the day because I have a few things that I need to do. I need to film a video for TikTok for a brand and then I'm just going to get my day started. We do have to go to Trader Joe's today to get some groceries for the house because we don't really have anything. I'm trying to be better about cooking at home because for a while we were ordering out a lot. I don't know why I just wasn't cooking. We were just craving other stuff. So obviously that's not the ideal thing to do. We're gonna go buy some food and of course I'll do a Trader Joe's haul. I'm home with Leo right now. Luca and Alex are in school. I have so much to catch you guys up on. I feel like so much has happened. I went back to work. I'm not sure which video is gonna go up, if it's going to be my flight attendant video or this video first, I still haven't decided. But either way, I went back to work January 5th. It was my first trip after six months off. And I was so excited, but yet very nervous to go back to work. And I talked a lot about it in that video because I had a lot of mom guilt because I was, you know, going back to work and I had been so used to being at home with the kids. And I was only gone for like three days. It was a weekend trip, you know, but for some reason, while I was getting ready for the trip, I felt so much guilt. I was like in the middle of getting ready and I was crying and, just very, very emotional. Kind of the way I felt when I got back to work after maternity leave with both Luca and Leo. Um, in case you haven't been around, I have three kids and when I became a flight attendant, my oldest was two. And then I had my last two while I was already a flight attendant. So I took maternity leave and then went back to work. Well, going back to work after maternity leave was hard on me emotionally. I had postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety. It was, it was really, really hard. So now that I went back to work this time, for some reason it was very similar, the feeling that I had, and I felt very, very guilty. I was trying to talk myself out of it because I've done it many times before. I've done this job for almost 10 years. Like, what is happening? Why am I feeling this way? Well, I go back to work. I go to the airport. I, you know, snap out of it pretty quickly and get into work mode. But then little by little, it just kept creeping up on me that like guilt feeling and just like very sad and almost wanting to cry. Also, I do suffer from anxiety and depression. It's something that I do struggle with a lot. I also PMS very, very hard. And I need to talk to my OB about that because it's very, um, it's bad. Like sometimes I'm very like angry, like I rage. And then other times I'm just very depressed, like very, like, very depressed so i need to see what we can do about that i am in the process of getting help so don't worry about that once i get back to work and i'm in the hotel and everything i just i couldn't stop being like sad and it just triggered something in me it triggered my depression so badly like so so badly that for two weeks you guys two weeks i had the hardest hardest time getting up from the sofa, like I would wake up, you know, take care of the kids and do everything that I needed to do and then just lay on the couch with Leo and watch TV. I would try to take him out somewhere, but I was just pretty much like an autopilot and just very, very sad, like very, very sad. And, you know, if you are familiar with depression, depression is not fun. Depression can be something that could be crippling for some people. And this time around, I feel like it was. It was, I wasn't on social media, like I wasn't posting anything. I would scroll and every time I would scroll, it would make me feel worse because then I would start comparing myself to other people, like thinking, oh, they probably don't go through what I'm going through. They probably have it all together. So I wasn't posting, I wasn't vlogging, I wasn't doing anything, I wasn't editing. I have so many videos that I can edit for Instagram and TikTok, but I just, I haven't been able to do it. So little by little, I am playing catch up and like trying to get back on track and do what I like. And then also because I felt guilt, I'm telling you so much guilt 
I was feeling guilty for doing social media work because even if it was just like a second, I felt bad that it was taking time away from the kids. And I don't know, I'm being very vulnerable here and just talking about this so you guys know that if you struggle with the same situation, like you're not alone and you're not the only one going through this because I know that when I get into this like space and mindset and stuff, I feel like I'm the only one going through these things when in reality, I'm not. So that is why I'm letting you guys know what I've been going through the past few weeks. I am snapping out of it. I did start therapy again. I had stopped taking therapy because life got busy, which is not a good reason by any means, but I, I stopped. So now I'm back. As soon as I finished my session, I felt so much better. Uh, I definitely needed it. Thankfully, I have a good support system. I was able to have phone calls with my dad, my husband. So that definitely helped a lot. But today is all about getting back into the swing of things and getting some work done so that I'm able to feel accomplished and then, you know, just know that what I'm doing, everything that I do is for my kids and remind myself that everything that I do is for my kids so that I'm able to help them, you know, have a good childhood so that I'm able to be home with them and experience things that I've always wanted to experience. I also hope I don't annoy you guys because I feel like every few months I come on here and start talking about my mental health and tell you how I'm doing and Sometimes it's not very positive, but I do it because I don't want people to feel alone. I know that sometimes I do get comments from people saying they wish that they could have their life together like I do, that they wish I could wake up, they could wake up at four o'clock in the morning to go to the gym and you know do everything that I do with the kids and be a flight attendant and everything. And remember that I don't pick up the camera when I'm feeling sad or when I'm crying, when I'm depressed and I don't pick up the camera during those times so those are the times that you guys don't see but I do want to be able to talk about them so you guys know that you're not alone that I do go through things like that too that I do struggle and just like I do struggle I also find ways to cope with it and then also work through them and that it is possible to be able to get out of these funks that we all go through. One thing is though that I was not really taking care of myself during that time. I wasn't eating well, I wasn't drinking enough water, so I was feeling very, very lightheaded. So I didn't think it was smart for me to go to the gym. So I have been out of the gym for like two weeks. I haven't really been going. And I thought it would be good to take a break and it's okay to do that, you know? It's not going to take away from any progress that I've made. It's not going to, you know, I'm not gonna fall behind because it's not a competition or, you know? So it's okay to take breaks sometimes and that's what I did. So I feel good once I'm ready to go back to the gym and get back into my routine, I will do so. But for now, I am enjoying waking up at like 6.30 to get Alex and Luca ready for school and it's been nice. I also ended up dropping my trips because I forgot that George was actually going to have a very, very busy month in January and I think February he might have a busy month too. And you guys know that we always make it work so that one of us is always home with the boys while the other person works. I'm going to be home and then when it's possible I'm going to go on a flight attendant trip. But speaking of trips, Leo is now four years old. I cannot believe my littlest baby is four years old. He turned four last week and we were going to just do something small at home. And, you know, I was going to make a cake from scratch and I got him some bluey balloons and we were just, you know, going to spend the day as a family. George had taken the day off from work so that we can spend it with Leo. But randomly on Thursday night, we decided to take a trip. We were just like, what should we do this weekend? We should do something with the boys to also celebrate Leo's birthday. And jokingly, we said, oh, we should fly somewhere. And this was like at seven o'clock at night. And we decided to fly to Minneapolis in Minnesota, which I know probably is random to some people, especially if you live there, you're probably like, uh, that's random. We decided to go because we love the cold. George and I really, really like the cold. We are not fans of the heat, so you know that we suffer during the summer here in Orlando, just like we did in Texas. We just were not fans of the heat, so we decided to experience the cold, and we thought that Minnesota would be good because there's the Mall of America, and the Mall of America has a theme park inside, 
and it would be fun for the boys. So I started packing right away, like immediately. Listed ourselves on the flight to Detroit because we had to connect through Detroit to get to Minneapolis. And we flew standby. Luckily, the flights were wide open so we didn't have to worry about seats or anything like that. Everything just went smoothly. I was kind of worried about Leo traveling because we haven't really traveled with Leo. We used to travel with Alex all the time and we used to travel with Luca too, but with Leo, because he was a pandemic baby, we didn't really get the chance to do so. So he's not very experienced, but thankfully everything went okay. He loved it. And we had such a good time at <laughs> the Mall of America. When I say it was cold, it was cold. It was negative five degrees. Fahrenheit and the hotel that we stayed at was right across the street from the mall So it wouldn't even make sense to take a shuttle the hotel didn't even have a shuttle But it wouldn't have made sense to take an uber or anything like that So we just walked and it, it, it was it was very cool But it was so much fun. We had I honestly needed a trip like that with the family and relax at the hotel order pizza and watch TV, watch movies, and then go to the mall. And we bought them some shoes because at the Mall of America, shoes and clothes, there's no tax. So I think it's a Minnesota thing. So we bought them some shoes for school. I didn't buy anything for myself because I am making it a point to not buy myself any clothes or shoes in the month of January so that I am able to be more conscious of where my money is going. I feel like it's so easy to get influenced and I am someone that gets very, very easily influenced. <laughs> I also wanna be more aware of what I'm consuming on social media and you know what I'm letting come into my mind just because it really does affect me for some reason and I don't know why because I wasn't like that before just as of recently it started to so I really need to guard my heart guard my mind to make sure that I'm okay so if that means you know unfollowing certain people then I'm gonna have to do that so I have been talking to you guys for a long time now I feel like I've been talking to you for over 20 minutes so I'm very sorry if this got boring but I'm gonna finish getting ready and then do my little TikTok video and then head on over to Trader Joe's so I will talk to you guys when I get back it's a little later we just left Trader Joe's I was going to show you guys what I was getting while I was in there but you can't really film at Trader Joe's there's like signs everywhere and then also it was a little bit hard because Leo wanted to have the mini shopping carts that they have at Trader Joe's so I had to make sure that he wasn't like crashing into people and that he would get out of the way so it was like a whole thing but we ended up getting pretty much everything that we needed I did get myself some water because I have not been the best at drinking water just this whole month so I got myself one of these I really like these because they have um, electrolytes and it doesn't taste weird but all right let's go home so we're home finally I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's it was a little bit over $200 and even then, I still feel like it's cheaper than going to Publix. I feel like all of this would have cost so much more at Publix or uh, I don't even know what other grocery stores we have here. But Target too. I feel, well, even then, I feel like Target is still even cheaper than Publix. I feel like I save more money going to Trader Joe's than I do when I go to Target because at Target, you, you find little things here and there that you don't need and you end up getting. So <laughs> I'm going to show you what I got. So here's everything. And this will last us about a week and a half. Uh, maybe a week. It depends on how fast these boys eat because they can definitely eat. So I got some of these peppers for a bowl that I'm going to make and as well as these grape tomatoes for that same bowl. Leo wanted uh, blueberries. We got some strawberries. The boys will go through these super fast and I like having these in the freezer just because they're easy and for the days where I don't want to make real rice, I just use this. And then also George will also take these to work sometimes and just warm it up at work. I got some heavy whipping cream and the boys really like these. So for days where I cannot find anything to give to them or that they won't eat anything, these are definitely a go. So I got two of those. They really like hash browns with their breakfast. So I'll give them this. I'll put it in the air fryer and some fruit and pancakes and that's like a really good breakfast for them. They also really like these Belgian waffles. I got some crumbled feta cheese and I love snacking on these. I've always loved seaweed and every time I go to Trader Joe's I make sure to get some. I got some of these uh, red potatoes for dinner that I'm going to make today. Some mandarins. The boys go through these like crazy. Some milk coconut water and then two of these. I'm gonna make it a point to drink these. As you can see, I'm definitely working on hydration and George really likes these Caesar salads for work so I got him two of those. And I love this 
salsa. I like it either with food or with chips. I will pretty much put this on anything as well as some avocados and some of these for Alex. I thought I got two, but I guess, oh, it's over there. Sorry, it's on the other side. <laughs> and I got some mango bars. These are my favorite to snack on at night. And some of these too, but these can be a little bit too sweet for me. So I try, I don't eat them as much as I used to before I got my surgery. Now I'll have them like every now and then. Some Caesar salad. Alex loves carrots, he loves snacking on these, he'll eat these like chips. Uh, Lactose-free milk for George, lemonade, and this milk I actually really like. It's the unsweetened oat beverage. I just feel like it makes my matcha so much more creamy. And I got some shredded green cabbage, some cilantro, french fries, and then this for just days where I'm feeling lazy and I need something quick to eat because I struggle with eating lunch. So just popping one of these in the microwave is lunch for me and it's really easy. As well as this salad. I also get the salad for that reason too. Some mini cucumbers and some green grapes. I was going to get cotton candy grapes, but they were $9 for grapes and they were the same size. So I just got these. Some bananas. And Leo really likes these smoothies. Some papaya, which, fun fact, I have very, very bad trypophobia and I hate cutting a papaya open. The seeds just trigger my trypophobia, so I always have someone else do it for me. It's, it's, it's weird. I'm such a baby when it comes to papaya seeds. And these croissants for the boys, they really like these. This is probably my favorite carne asada ever. I love having this with rice or with this salad right here. That's usually why I buy this so that I can have it with the carne asada. Some chicken, some ground beef. Uh, what is this? Shaved beef steak to have with some soyaki. Luca's favorite chips and his favorite cookies. And here's the other bag of the tortilla chips. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this Trader Joe's haul. I feel like this video has been a little random. I spent most of the time chatting your ear off this morning while, while I was getting ready for the day. But I just felt like it was nice to, or necessary at least, to catch up and let you guys know what's been going on. And I wanted to throw in the little Trader Joe's haul because I know a lot of you guys really enjoy these hauls. So I think I'm going to end this video here because we're not doing anything exciting. I know, again, this video is really random, really just plain. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Let me know what you guys have been up to these few, first few weeks of the year, any goals that you may have, whatever it is that you're looking forward to. Let, let me know something happy. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and I'll see you guys in my next video.